game in here! What's going on guys, it's your rifle here. And in this video I'm going to be covering some Moxie signature gear that you can obtain in Borderlands the pre-sequel. As well as the Moxie toy box glitch. The toy box is Moxie's chest, located behind Moxie's bar. Tits. You can actually open this chest once you have taken down Felicity and started the mission Home Sweet Home. It's a part of the main storyline, you won't miss it. The higher level that you open this chest, the better loot you will see. I am currently level 39 as you can see, so I'm getting about level 38 gear in this chest. If you're a higher level, you will get higher gear. But anyways, before I go over Moxie's loot that is in this chest, I just wanted to say that I'm pretty sure this chest has been glitched. I mean, come on, this chest comes with three really solid items. A gun, a grenade, and a shield. This chest gets you well prepared for battle. I mean, there's three different category selections in this chest. Gun, shield, and grenade. This is a badass chest. But nonetheless, this chest being badass. Like I said before, this chest is glitched. The reason why I say that is after you open the chest, and then save and quit, and rejoin back into the game, this chest will be back, not opened at all. This can help you with some challenges, such as selling things into the vending machine, and when you are picking up these items, it counts toward your rarity item find challenge as well. So use this glitch chest to your advantage while you still can before it gets patched. Not to mention opening the chest counts toward a challenge, and each time you do open the chest, there's a chance you'll get some better gear. Sure, it still might be Miss Moxie's, but it could have better stats on it. The first moxie item I'm going to go over is the slammer. The red text says you look like you could use a drink. This shield is very handy to use, especially for team players. What this shield does, while you take damage, you have a chance to drop these slammers. These slammers are supposed to be cocktails or some sort of drink, because the red text says you look like you could use a drink. And not to mention, moxie is a bartender. And what I mean by that is, once you have taken damage, you drop these slammers, and your allies can pick these slammers up, and not to mention yourself, you can also pick these slammers up as well. And what these slammers do, they restore up to 25% of shields and increase movement speed, fire rate, and reload speed for a short amount of time. So this shield is one awesome shield to have, especially if you're a team player. The next weapon I'm going to go over is Moxie's Kinky Vibra Pulse Laser Gun. The red text says, why not turn me on? This gun is one kinky electrical sexual device. Let's just let your imagination wonder with this gun. Anywho, some awesome features about this gun. Due to the fixed parts and lack of accessories for non hyperion lasers, the weapon will always spawn with the Miss Moxie's prefix. Also not to mention another little awesome feature about this. When you equip this weapon, it turns on vibration for 3 to 5 seconds, then fades regardless of firing or not. This laser gun is pure electric. And not to mention a percentage of the damage inflicted by the weapon is returned as health. One important thing to know, Moxie's gear seems to always be about healing. So if you have found a Moxie weapon, more than likely it has something to do with healing. Actually believe it or not, all the Moxie gear I'm going over in this video has something to do with healing. This weapon fires a continuous beam which inflicts increasingly heavier damage upon a target and chains damage to surrounding enemies. So there is some chain damage as well with this weapon. Alright, now for the grenade you get out of this chest. The Kiss of Death. You can get this grenade style to have shock, incendiary, corrosive, explosive, or hey, even no elemental damage at all. This grenade had made an appearance in Borderlands 2, as well as Borderlands the pre-sequel. This grenade is a homing grenade, and it deals elemental damage over time, until the target dies, or the grenade detonates. Upon the grenade's explosion, it actually sends out a life orb that heals allies. Some awesome little side features about this grenade is in Borderlands 2, Hyperius the Invincible actually dropped the Kiss of Death. And also, in real life, the Kiss of Death refers to a kiss given to one who has committed an act of betrayal and is thus marked for death. So the Kiss of Death is supposed to mark betrayers. Those are some awesome little fun facts. You actually get all three of these items from starting the mission Home Sweet Home after killing Felicity's huge bot. Up next for Miss Moxie's gear is Miss Moxie's probe. All of her gear seems to be something sexual related, and I find it pretty damn awesome. But anyways, about Miss Moxie's probe, it is a relatively weak gun that heals you for a percentage of the damage you deal while holding it. You actually get this gun from the side quest called Torgo Torgo. You can actually obtain this mission very early in the storyline. 
You can obtain it after you complete Marooned. It's actually the third mission you get in this story. The mission where you have to kill Deadlift. Like the Grog Nozzle from Borderlands 2, this item disappears from your inventory once you turn in the quest. So if you are interested in having this gun, well then do not turn in the quest. But if you do turn in the quest, that's how you get rid of the gun. And the rewards you get from turning in the quest is XP, money, and fire starter, or straight Torgmada. The red text for this weapon says, go deep enough and who knows what you will find. The elemental damage that you can get for this weapon is shock, corrosive, cryo, or fire. The only really interesting thing about Moxie's probe is that it is a Moxie's signature weapon and it heals players for a percentage of damage dealt. But that's about wrapping up all Moxie's gear that I have for you guys so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more Borderlands the pre-sequel content, please remember to stick around and subscribe because I'll be posting out a lot of Borderlands the pre-sequel content. I'm talking secrets, easter eggs, gun guides, reviews, news, Whatever I pretty much find out and I think is interesting, I'll be throwing out at you guys. Also, not to mention a like is highly appreciated from me, so if you could, please smack that naughty like button. Button, 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 button. But that's about wrapping up this video. Thank you all for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. Well, there's another random event enemy that you can fight, except this time it is referencing towards Sonic. You will be fighting Phonic 